the singing. We join together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this moment. Thank you for your grace and love upon our lives. Thank you for this moment. Good morning, Thank good morning, you. Papa. Thank good morning, sisters. Good morning. Good morning, sister. Mm. We thank God for you. Mm. Yeah, we thank God for making it possible for you and I to gather. We bless His Holy Name. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for being so gracious and loving, for the joy and peace you have granted unto us. Thank you for the free gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for seeing and unseen battle you fight every day. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Redeemer, we bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus for what you did yesterday, what you are doing at the moment. We bless your holy name in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and love. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray and believe. We are gathering together unto thee. We are gathering together unto thee, unto the Lord shall be gathering of his people be. We are gathering together unto thee. We are gathering together unto thee. We are gathering together unto thee. Unto the Lord shall be gathering of his people. We are gathering together unto thee. Eh, we are gathering together unto thee. We are gathering together unto thee. Unto the Lord shall be gathering of his people. We are gathering together unto thee. Yeah, we are gathering together unto Him. We are gathering together unto Thee. Unto the Lord shall be gathering of His people. Be. We are gathering together unto Him. Yeah, we are gathering together unto Him. We are gathering together unto Him. Unto the Lord shall be gathering of His people. We are gathering together unto thee. We are gathering together unto thee. We are gathering together unto thee. Unto the Lord shall be gathering of his people. Be. We are gathering together unto Him. Te glory, Father. Te glory, Son. Te glory, Holy Ghost. Now and forevermore. 
now and forever, more glory, Father, te glory, Son, te glory, Holy God, now and forever, more, now and forever, more, te glory, Father, te glory, Son. Te glory, O Ligo, now and forever, Mum. Today, oh, I will lift up my voice and say, All I know, Jesus, you are always there for me, Almighty God. You are my only one, no matter what we say. When success and marry, I will praise alone. You are more than worthy, Lord. Jesus, to be praised and adored, you be faithful, Lord. That is why your name. Is forever moon. He every living so, every living so praise alone. He living so, every living so praise her. Every living so, every living so praise alone. We living so, every living so praise alone. Every living so. Heavy living so, praise the Lord, heavy living so, heavy living so, praise the Lord. The dead can no praise the Lord, let us live in praise his name. I say the dead can no praise the Lord, let us live in praise his name. Yeah, sister, I see your hand up. Sister Jane, I know you want to sing. Good morning, Papa. Good morning. Yeah, go on, please. Oh, 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 He's a monkey, come on. He has a reward. He's a monkey, come on. He has a reward. He's a monkey, come on. He has a reward. Sing song. We have to repent every day and let Lord have mercy on us. We don't know what we touch. We don't know what we say last evening to our brother, to our sister. We don't know. We have to repent as a Christian. Amen. Glory to you. We praise you. We glorify you. Glory to you. We praise you. We glorify you. Glory to you, we praise you, we glorify you. Glory to you, we praise you, we glorify you. 
Thank you, Papa. Back to you. Indeed, glory back to him. We glorify his name. What an angelic voice. We bless God for you. Wherever you sing, you make me remember those days uh, when we used to go to the mass when we are still children in the Catholics. You call, in many of us, you know, we came from that background. I remember those days. Yeah, God bless you. He have really blessed you with such amazing voice. Indeed, we have to give him glory. There is nothing in this life we can ever give to God but to praise his holy name, to honor him. That is all we can do. There is nothing, there is nothing and absolutely nothing you and I, we can do to give, his, to give him, but only to say, to give him glory and honor. Join me again, once again, as we bless his holy name. For our Lord God is mighty and gracious. He has done what no one can ever do. Thank him, O God. We bless your holy name, our heavenly Father. We give you praise and honor the cube, for you make him possible to be possible. You provide a way where there is no way. We exalt you, O God. Thank you for the love that you have bestowed upon us. Thank you for what you did yesterday and what you continue to do. Thank you for gathering us, O oh God. Wonderful Redeemer, we say thank you for the joy and peace that you have granted unto us. Lord, we thank you. How awesome, Lord, you are. How great, Daddy, you are. Lord our God, we give you praise and honor. We exalt your holy name, Father. Be exalted, be lifted up. You sit on the mountain and the mill. You speak a word and it comes to pass. If it wasn't you, where could I be? Where could my sister be? It is by your grace, Lord, we are what we are today. It is by your mercy, O oh God. We sons of Jacob, we are being preserved. Lord, Lord, if you would have kept the record of our iniquity, there could be no one to stand before you. But because you are merciful, that's why we have gathered. We don't take it for granted. We understand it's a privilege, Father. For us to call on your name is a privilege. For us to gather is a privilege. Not that because we are better than others, but that is your pleasing. May our gathering be acceptable to you. Have your way in our midst, Lord Jesus. We ask you, oh God, take absolute control. It is our prayer that, Lord, let your mercy speak for us. Let your favor speak for us. Just as you have said, when two or three of us gather in your name, there you are. Jesus, we sense your presence. Take absolute control. Oh, Lord, our God, we know when we meet you, we meet change. When we meet you, we meet transformation. Our Lord, our God, do something new in our midst. Take up suti control. Whatever that is not of God, in the name of Jesus, be exposed. 
Satan and your activity. Wherever you are, be exposed. For you know very well I have no respect for you, demon. Wherever you are, be exposed. I command you out and never return. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray and believe. Amen. Well, beloved, I still hear the song my sister was singing going on in my heart. We glorify your name. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Yeah, let us quickly go and see. If you have a volunteer to do the reading, please, please, please volunteer. You love to do the reading as we proceed with our book of Job. We are almost there. It's getting sweeter and sweeter. Please, I see the hand of uh, Sister Irene. That is Mommy Ashley. Please. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Please go on. I believe you remember we ended, we are in 38. No, we did not explain finish. Yeah. We have to explain, we have to continue. Start from verse 25 of 38, please. Okay. Yeah. Our reading today is going to come from the book of uh, Job 38. We haven't finished, so we're going to start from 38. 38 verse 35. 38 from verse 20, 25, please. Verse 25, sorry. Okay, it says... Who cuts a channel for the torrents of rain and a path for the thunderstorm to water a land where no one lives, an uninhabited desert to satisfy a desolate west wasteland and make it sprout with grass? Does the rain have a father? Who fathers the drops of dew? From whose womb comes the ice? Who gives birth to the frost of the heavens? When the waters become hard as stone, when the surface of the deep is frozen, can you bind the chains of the plates? Can you loosen Orion's belt? Can you bring forth the constellations in their season, or oh, lead cut the bear with its cubs. Do you know the laws of the heavens? Can you set the gods dominion over the earth? Can you raise your voice to the clouds and cover yourself with a flood of water? Do you send the lightning bolts on their way? Do they report to you? Here we are. Who gives the Ibis wisdom. Oh, give the rooster understanding. Who has the wisdom to count the clouds? Who can tip over the water jars of the heavens when the dust becomes hard and the clouds of earth stick together? Do you hunt the prey for the lioness and satisfy the hunger of the lions? When they when they crouch in their dens or lie in wait in a thicket? Who provides food for the raven when its young cry out to God and wonder about for lack of food? This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for listening to me. Amen. <coughs> Amen. Thank you. Yeah, you can say something. This, uh, when you hear the questions of God, uh, None of us even can answer, and it helps us in many ways. Let us hear what someone can say. Please feel free. You hear the questions that God asks, which comes to us all. In other words, Please. God is trying to. Uh, in other words, God is trying to remind us again. We have to know He is our Father. 
He is the creator of everything, including Satan himself. The Amen. rain, the water we drink, he created. The clouds he created. The heaven, the earth, the stars, the moon, the trees, the insects, the animals, as human beings, everything. Some things even I cannot be able to remember because it's a lot of things. Sometimes I try to count like how many pairs of animals in this earth, like two, two pairs. And I remember he never gave like a number, like how many pairs of animals were there. He just said in general, Noah to put like two, two pairs of every animal or whatever, which was there, you know, insect. So he never really gave a number. So there are so many animals out there. There are so many insects out there. There are so many different kinds of creatures out there. So in short, it's only God who can uh, command maybe the, like when he's talking or is whatever, like the cloud to move, to shake or to whatever, he can command the day to turn to night, the night to turn to day. He can do whatever because he's God, our father. He's the powerful God. He's the king of kings. That's all I can say. Amen. And he Amen loves us so much. He loves us so much. He made all these things for us. You know. Yeah, like every little thing here has, has a reason, has a meaning. He created it. He created it for a reason. So he gave us brains to discover what we can use these things for. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, sis. Amen to that. Yeah. Yeah, we see Sister Tina. Please feel free. Anyone? Yeah. Uh, Praise Jesus. the Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> yeah, this uh, reading makes me realize that um, when we are in a very tough or darker situations, at our very low points and we grumble and whine and, you know, even to the point of saying things in the face of God or sometimes against him. If God were not God and he were to be man, most of us, he would have, you know, finished us off. He would have wiped us off because he is God. As our sister Irene said, he's God. And we have to just uh, exercise that faith as little children and acknowledge that indeed he is who he is and, you know, give him time to work things out in our life for his glory. Because now reading this, like, I'm really, really ashamed and afraid that personally, most of the time, I make a lot of fuss. I make a lot of noise. I grumble, I whine. But here are these questions that takes me back to the roots of who God really is. Because most of the time, we don't consider all these things that they are all the handiwork of God. And we get ahead of ourselves and, you know, throw tantrums and but we thank God for his mercies that just as he had the patience to pose all these questions to Job and didn't strike him the same way he exercises that patience with us and has great mercy towards us so I am just in awe of who God is and I'm humbled I bless his holy name amen Amen. <clears throat> Thank you too, Sister Tina. Well, I'll also say something that the Lord put in my heart. I'll say this to us. This book of Job, it exposes us in many ways. It makes us understand that the things we claim to be minor or small to God, they mean everything. Because he asked, 
if you hear him asking, do you, can you even clothe yourself with water? How can someone clothe himself with water? Or cover himself with water? How can that happen? But to him, he can. Only that one make us understand that we have no right to even say a question to him. I do, when I look at this book of Job, you can see that all the verses from verse 30, from chapter 1 to 37, God was quiet, silent. Well, Job and his friend were talking and God was listening. This make me understand that God is a good listener and God is interested to hear the conversation of his people. Is so much concerned. Because you can see that after Eliu spoke, God also came in to speak. So this makes us understand that we miss many a times. We all do this. We go to prayer. We complain, we pray, we complain, we complain. As soon as you get tired, you say amen. And you do what you want to do. But we did not give him chance to talk. I remember is it or to speak. I remember it was a few days ago yesterday. Or a few a year. It was on Thursday. When one of our sisters asked, Do you mean God used to speak? Not that he used to speak, God speak even until now. But many a times, when we come to speak to him, we start talking. He's listening. The time when he's supposed to respond, we say amen, we share the grace, and we leave. So because he's so much loving, what he does, he has to wait again to wait us in the dream so that he can whisper because there we are resting. But if we could speak and wait, or talk and wait, we could hear his response. This, the book of Job shows us that all they were asking and talking, each one of them, he was listening and ready to answer accordingly. Praise God. So let us go. With, please follow me. <coughs> Holy Spirit, help me. Listen to what he said from verse 25. Who has divided a channel of the overflowing water? I don't know if you have ever visited a place where there is water flowing. There's sometimes something surprised. The way the water can be organized. It can make its own way. Now, here it makes us understand that it's God who makes that path for the water to pass. You can see water passing between houses and even without destroying them. It can flow very well. For us, you may, you maybe you have never thought of such a thing, but you realize, oh, even that water which is overflowing, but still goes to a place where we may not know where it's going. It's still God that channel that water. He went further and asked. <laughs> he said, To cause it rain on its land, where to cause it rain on the land where there is no man. A wilderness in which there is no man. Me, uh, some hours ago I was meditating over this i wonder people where are people the land where people are many or human beings are they may be struggling for rain but god caused it to rain in the wilderness you ask yourself why what that water benefit in the wilderness yet there are some living creatures in the wilderness they need that water who is responsible for doing all that? The same God. Now, me and you, we cannot do that. 
that make us understand that to him everything matters. To him everything he created for his own glory. To him everything he did to show how powerful he is. Self-sufficient, all-powerful God. Imagine in the wilderness, he caused it to rain. There are some insects, there are some animals. I sat and thought over this, I wonder. In the wilderness, there are things that are living. And that weather is good for them, that climate. You will learn more as we proceed. He said, he said, he continued by saying that to the wilderness in which there is no man live, to satisfy the desolate west, because the place is desolate west, but still God do that to satisfy it. If God can take care of wilderness, Will he, not, will he not be able to take care of you and I? Ask that question to yourself. Because you and I, we don't know whether wilderness pray to him. But I do believe even wilderness cry to him. For all things we can see and that we cannot see depends on God Almighty. Listen, beloved. He went further and said, and caused to spring forth the growth of tender grass in the wilderness. Has the rain a father? <laughs> rain has a father. So which means is still God is the father of the rain. Or God is the father, God is still the one controlling the rain of rain. We may just think it just happened and it rains. For us, we know when it rains, we'll be able to carry out some agriculture. And if it's not raining, we start having trouble, lack of food. But he asked, rain has a father. Can somebody tell me what is the father of rain name? When he caused the rain to rain, we see he ended up even to cause the green grass to sprout for to grow. I see, like where I am, I see most of the time it is raining. Everywhere is green. God is wonderful. He went further and says, said, please someone can write for me on the, can write for us, uh, so that those who join can know where we are. Job, Job 38, we started from verse 25. Yeah. <clears throat> he went further and said, These all are the questions that come to us. Oh, who has begotten the drops of dew? From whose womb comes the ice? And the frost of heaven, who give it back? Same God. The water has hardened the lie, hardened like stone. And the surface of the deep is frozen. Sometimes I sit down and ask, do you mean in heaven there is a fridge? Because there are sometimes when ice blow, let me call them ice come from, you know, when we are young, let me call it ice cubes. <laughs> we used to go under rain and pick them. So I don't know if there is a fridge. But if it is there, then it's big. If I mention that way. You remember when we used to run and we, under rain, we pick them. Praise God. Who, does, who is in control of all that? It's our Baba God. Can you bind the cluster of the pledsa? Or lose the, the, the belt of Orion. Can you bring out Mazara, Mazaroth in its season? Or can you guide the great bear 
with its cubes. I wonder how this bear are. I, I, I wonder how this bear survived. You know, I, I find them, they look amazing. Still, it's our Heavenly Father concerned about them. He said that the great bear with its cubes, do you know the ordinance of heavens? Can you set the dominion over the earth? We cannot. Live alone when people are in power. Still, it is nothing because we understand that dominion and power authority all belongs to God. So we have to know as human beings, we have just been assigned on this earth for a particular moment. But still, it's God who has dominion over everything. Praise God. When we humble ourselves in Christ Jesus, we have dominion over everything. But what makes us not to have dominion is because of our lifestyle individually. And Satan is very wise, you know. Satan do not want you and I to realize the dominion we have in Christ Jesus. But if you realize the dominion given to you in Christ Jesus, you may be so nice talking to people here, but in your prayer the dominion you have against Satan. Whether you see something happen or it does not happen, but you believe you have said it, as, as long as you believe you are an image of God, once you have said something, you don't need to wait it to happen, to see it happen. Once you have said, it's established in heaven. And you will continue saying it until you see it manifesting physically. That's why see, Satan is very spectacle. He don't want you to know this. When you are praying, you want to say, Oh God, help me, I'm suffering. That kind of prayer, Satan will have to listen. But when you realize your dominion in Christ Jesus, you know, we can only have dominion when we are in Christ Jesus. When you realize your dominion in Christ Jesus, when you are praying in your time of prayer, you will continue standing in that dominion to command Satan where to go, to order him, Praise God. Now listen, beloved sisters. Dominion we understand. It say, can you set their dominion over the earth? Do you know the ordinance of the heavens? No, I have not been in heaven. I don't know. You can see how God is organized. Can you lift up your voice to the clouds that an, that an abundance of water may cover you? Can you send out lightning that they may go? No. And as, you, as to you and say to you, here we are, meaning the cloud responding, no. Who has put wisdom in the mind? Who has put wisdom in the mind of human being? Who can number the clouds by wisdom? I love many times looking at the clouds. When you look at the cloud, you, the cloud, you see beautiful images but did you know that those clouds you are seeing, they are written? Praise God. Their words. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Who can number them by wisdom? Nobody.
or who has given understanding to the heart still is the, is god who give understanding the heart is god give understanding and mind is god give wisdom as we know the bible says the fear of the lord is the beginning of the wisdom and understanding it's my prayer that let us try us individually to fear god fearing god is keeping his commandment let the commandment of god be written in our hearts the reason why we repent day and night all the time because we fear god so never stop repenting my beloved sisters our god want to be with us in heaven he does whatever it takes to make it possible. That's why you see, he reminds you to pray. He reminds you to gather. He reminds you to help somebody, to forgive someone. Praise God. Wherever you lose, you lost Mark, he tries best to see that he brings you back. God is always faithful, even though we are unfaithful. He never changes. Yes, he can change things. Praise God. So it is good always to ask him to give us wisdom, the, the, mind, the, the mind full of wisdom and the heart full of understanding. Because when you hear these questions, you'll realize that even though you claim to be so educated with a good background, you realize that your education it does not even come close to this. You wonder who takes care of the bears. We don't know. I was reading, I asked myself, who takes care of a lion? The lion give birth, but you wonder how do this lion in the den, when she's pregnant, the lioness, she reach a time she give birth. The children, they grow up. And as soon as they grow up, they leave her. Who is concerned? Who takes care of them? Who feeds them? Because at that small young age, the lion, the, the animals at very small age, who takes care of them? You cannot understand. The birds, the insects, And to see how God is loving and very organized, he makes sure that all of them, all of, let me say all of us, we have food to eat. God is very organized. May he give us organized mind and heart in Jesus' name. Who can number the clouds by wisdom? Oh, who, who can pour out the bottles of heaven? When the dust hardens in clumps and the clouds click together, can you hunt the prey for the lion? Can you? I cannot or oh, satisfy the appetite of the young lions. Can you? When they crunch in their dens or lack in their lay layers to lie in wait, who provide food for the raven when its young ones cry to God and wonder about for the lack of food? I repeat there, verse 39. Can you hunt a prey for the lion? Can you, sister? Brother, can you? Or satisfy the appetite of the young lions. When they crunch in their dens or lack in their layers to lie in wait, who provide food for the ravens? When its young ones cry to God and wonder about for lack of food, 
if the young ones cry to God, it means everything that we can see and that we cannot see, when it lacks, it will cry to God. If these lions, the young ones, they know when they have a need, they cry to God. Then why we human beings that have understanding and mind, we fail to cry to God. We try to look for our own ways to make things happen. If insects know that it is God that feeds them, why then we human beings with a proper mind, sound mind, fail to cry to God to help us? It is God who is the source of everything we can ever imagine or need. But many a times, human being, whenever we encounter a problem, I will bring my brothers and sisters, we Christians. Many a times, really, God is really disappointed in us. We can praise him, we can testify how good he is when everything is going well. But when we encounter obstacle or we find ourselves in struggle, we start calling him name, questioning him, even to an extent to make him too small. There are some things we believe he can do and there are some things we think he cannot do. We are very wrong. If lions, we cannot provide for them. It is God who provides for them. Just like when I had my say, indeed, there are some creatures I have never seen. There are some things, even insects, when you look at it, you say, wow. There are millions of them that we cannot understand, but still they know their maker. I used to keep birds. These birds know God. Before early in the morning when they wake up, they shout, praise God in their language. You hear a pigeon, you hear guang guang ruku, they wake up in the morning. Birds in the morning, we hear them singing. Some of us, we love the song when birds are singing. Birds they wake up to praise God and they stretch their hand. I believe they say, glory be to you, Father, God Almighty, for you created all things. After it stretches itself, it flies and goes. Where is it going? It's like it has an appointment. These birds, they don't have even a farm. They don't even have work. But they will come back with the food if they have kids, chicks, young ones, and they will feed them. But we human beings, when you encounter a challenge, you will try to look for all options outside God to come out of the challenge. That one is where people miss Mark. I will say this, if you do not want to be discouraged many a times when you are praying, do this. I love to do this. When you are praying on, over something and you don't see it happen, don't change your prayer. Now ask God, is it your will? Because if it is God's will to give you a Mercedes Benz, when you ask him, he will tell you yes. He will either reveal in the dream based on the, the relationship you, you have built with him. He will let you know, yeah, it is my will. Then you continue praying and waiting. You hear here, the lion, they ask, can you hunt a prey for a lion? And there is a time where a lion waits so that he can. So the secret is that when you pray while asking God, it's not a bad thing. It will help your faith to grow. Because when you are, many a times we pray for things, we don't know if it is God's will. And when you are praying for something, you don't know it's God's will. It will get frustrated. No matter how, how you fast, 
if it is not God's way to, pray, to give you, you pray, you fast, they will pray for you, but it will not happen. I want to remind you, Jesus Christ loves you so much, just like he loved all his apostles. When you take time and ask him, Daddy, please, I don't understand. I am praying for this. Is it your will? I tell you, if you continue asking such a question, it will make clear to you that it is your will, is his will or not. Then if it is his will, you continue praying, reminding him and waiting. But if it is not his will, he will tell you. Praise God and you will not get frustrated. We remember Paul say that he asked Jesus to take away the affliction, the thorn on his flesh. He said three times, which means he realized that it's not God's will to take away that. So I pray that God help someone to understand this. Pray over something. Ask. Because all the prayers that God answer are the prayer that we pray according to his will. You know, many a times, uh, human beings, most especially uh, believers, we believe that uh, we cannot ask God question. If you see, I want you to see God as a father. I want you to see, that's why I see, I encourage people to see God as a father, because that's how I see him. When you see him as a father, In your time, wherever you create a moment in your heart, you talk to him in, anytime, anywhere, in silence. You can shout, you can talk, silent. You ask him things that matter to you. God is so much concerned with the relationship between him and his people, us, all of us. That's why you see, do you know that you can just have a thought? Before you know, that thought answer, because God is concerned. God loves you so dearly, beloved sisters and brothers. And whenever you account a lot of trouble, it means God loves you so much. So Satan is using those trouble to, de to make you think God don't love you. When you have a lot of problem, it means God loves you so much. And don't let that problem make you think that God don't love you. No, God loves you so much. Anything close to Jesus, it will receive attack. And our faith must be tested. If you claim to be a follower or a believer of Jesus, there will be things to test your faith. We see our brother uh, Job. To the attempts that Job went through, I think is one of the worst. He lost everything. So you too expect to be tested, to be tried. So whenever you counter trouble and challenge, try to remember what God asked. If you and I, we don't know, we cannot count the clouds, then we don't need to worry about things. This shows that everything including our hair is numbered. He have thought of everything. If he asks those questions, it shows us that everything we can see and that we cannot see is concerned about every details about them. He knows you must eat. He knows you must be healthy even though you have some sickness that is incurable. That sickness is not to kill you. Who knows, maybe God is have allowed it, that sickness to preserve you, to prepare you for the challenges ahead. Praise God. So in the midst of what you are going through, keep thanking him. Think, keep drawing yourself closer to him. 
Whenever we have a challenge, as I come to conclusion, these are our challenges. Draw us close to God. How? When you have a challenge, you will pray. When you have a challenge, you will ask a sister to pray for you. Whenever you encounter a challenge, you will seek God more. You will have time to read the Bible. We human beings, if care is not taken, when pleasure, pleasure sometimes take us away from God. Praise God. So since we do not know details of all that we can see and that we cannot see, we should be humble knowing that is able, is concerned. If you and I, we cannot cover ourselves with the water, then God have already planned the day and time you'll come out of the situation. May God bless his word in the midst of our heart. I pray that you be encouraged just knowing that God is listening always. And I pray that we be good listeners. And if God can come up and start questioning, it means he listens to our conversation. Praise God. That's why we have to mind even what we say. Yeah, you have something to say, please feel free. That's why we call it a Bible study. You can exercise yourself. Praise God. If you have something to say, please. I see uh, Sister, yeah, Sister Irene, please. Brothers and sisters, our reading today has taken me back to think of my life as a young teenager or like, yes, when I was young. This, whatever is now, like, uh, I'm thinking sometimes we see God's things like which he created, like so beautiful, we take it for granted. Like for example, like back home in Africa, we have like everything than any these like Western Western countries, European countries. Basically, they have to, to go back to Africa and bring what God gave us and bring back to their country. So like for us, is it like, man, is it like because we are, our ancestors were ignorant or because of the war, they had to take all these resources. So I really like take this time to thank God so much because he loved us Africans so much. He created us and put us in a side where there's so much wealth. Sisters and brothers, think about it. We have everything. Everything these Oibo people have to be rich from us. I, I thank God for that. Now I come to uh, the water thing. As a teenager, I was at Jamaica. Oh, I grew up at Jamaica as a teenager. Right now is when I'm thinking, God has always taken care of me, protected me, and I did not even know it. I do not even know him. At Jamaica, there is a place called Dan's River Falls. So the water, this water is just like, the falls is just fresh, fresh water. You have to hike, climb, then you come down under that whatever. Um, the water is fresh, no salt. It's entered, it, it enters in the sea, one side of the sea, is so salty after you finish swimming you come to this other side where it is just divided inside the sea i'm trying to say like how god did things this is the same water inside the same sea it is divided one side is fresh one side is so salty who can do that if it is only god only god can do that how crazy is that now I'm like, I'm started like thinking about it. Then another thing which I remembered, I kind of felt like I'm scared. I'm like, how did I do it? We have a, a big, like this hole. It is like, um, is Jamaica. You jump, 
those things which now they are showing on uh, TikTok. You jump into this hole, basically you crawl under the sea, uh, then you come out on the other side where there's like fresh water. When you jump into this whatever, like you go through the salt water, then when you are coming out, you come through the fresh water without, without salt. Now, when I'm thinking about it, I'm like, what was I thinking? Did my parents like really like, what could have they done if they knew I was doing all these naughty things? Jesus, you rescued me. Nobody even trained me how to swim, but because the whole class have to jump. I'm like, hey, why am I gonna be left out? So I was there, even I did not even know how to swim. Basically, maybe I knew how to crawl under the sea following my classmates before even I learned to swim. Oh God, I could have died in that water, but you saved me. Thank you, Jesus. And I just, I was thinking about it because I don't feel like energetic the way it used to be. I'm like, how did I do it? What was I thinking? If only my parents knew I'm supposed to be in school, but instead I'm doing these naughty, naughty things, you know, to fit in with, with friends. Anyway. That's not like the main point. The main point is like God really like created beautiful, beautiful things, especially these waters is not just water. He created, he knew like this side after maybe people finish swimming or finish doing whatever they are doing. This other side, people need fresh water to eat, to, to eat or to drink. And they need fresh water to um wash off because after you finish from this salt water you come off to wash off to wash off at this side so yes this thing actually now it goes 100 percent with what i've experienced in life like yes god created these waters all these things for a reason and he had ranged in a way as human beings can now how can like a big rock just be in the middle of the ocean? That rock cannot be able to move. It is just sitting there for years and years. But that rock protects only the fresh water. But from the other side of the rock is salt water. How crazy is that? Thank you, sisters and brothers. I just wanted to share like, oh my God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my life. I'm just thinking we have to look for our we have to look for people who know how to swim, who know how to whatever to train our children or whatever. But I was there jumping in that water for fun, for fun without knowing how to swim. God, I thank you. Hey, 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 hey. maybe I could have stayed in the, under that sea. I don't know what I could have done, but I was able. To... Thank you, Jesus. I don't have even have to talk much. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. Anyone else? You know, if we see the Bible in this way, whereby when you read the Bible, you relate it in everyday life, it will become more interesting and it will help one to see God in, a, in the way you can understand Him. Because when you go through what we read in the Bible, you realize that God is awesome. God is awesome. When you talk about Africa, you remind me, in Africa, fruits, like in Uganda, I remember fruits, there are some villages you just pick, you ask, you see mango, you just pick, but here I see they have to measure them. We should thank God. Yeah. I will ask us to pray. I love to encourage. That's what the Lord wants many a times. Let us ask God to give you individually the mind full of wisdom and the heart of understanding, the heart that fears him, the heart that fears him, the heart that fears him. The Bible says that when the ways of a man pleases God, he make him to be at peace with his enemies. When my ways and your ways please God, 
God will make sure that we are at peace with our enemies. Ask him. In the process of asking for his mercy and forgiveness. We have made him too small, too small, thinking that he's a human. We treat him the way we want. Sometimes we say things against him. Many a times we have cursed him. We have disgraced him. But he's so patient with us. Ask him for his mercy. For many times you have made him too small, thinking that he's unable to help you. Yet God Almighty is always in the midst of those who extend a hand of help. When you remember times you would have been in the grave, but he preserved you and I. I will use the example of COVID-19. Some of you, you have been working during COVID-19, taking care of people who have had COVID, but it preserved you. Some of you, you are driving using car, but God keep you from accidents. All of us, we sleep and wake up, but there is no one is sure that when you go to sleep, you are very sure you will wake up in the morning. How it happens, you don't know. We have never even taken thought of that. So I want you to know that he's a loving father. Speak to him. Because if he gives you wisdom and understanding, your heart, you'll be able to fear him. Ask him. Speak to him, brother. We are the reason behind our own trouble and challenges. Join me, son of David, we ask for your mercy and forgiveness. We have made you too small, daddy, thinking that you are unable to help us. We have said things against you. We are the reason why your name is being blasphemed. We have called you names. We have made you too small. We have insulted you. We have disgraced you. <clears throat> have mercy on us, son of David. We are not indeed worthy to bow before you. We are not even worthy to gather. We claim to be something, yet we are nothing. You have just reminded us that even the clouds, you know the measurements. The earth itself, you know the measurement. Everything that happens, it is by your command. You love us more than even we love ourselves. You take care of us even more than we take care of ourselves. Father, have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Forgive us individually. Do not banish us from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit away from us. We decrease, Father, May you increase in our lives. We dishonor ourselves that you be honored. Have mercy on us. You say, ask and it shall be given. We ask, Lord, give us a mind full of wisdom. Give us a heart full of understanding. Give us a heart that fears God. Give us a heart that worship you in truth and spirit. Many a times we claim we love you, but when challenges come, our real self always show up. Forgive us what we have learned, Lord, today. Let it find a place in our heart. 
We have not been grateful. You have given us things that even we do not ask. You have given us life. You have given us mind to understand. If you can take care of a lion, Father, you will not fail to take care of us. If you take care of the ravens, Father, you will be able to take care of us, as you always do. Son of David, look at your people. There is a reason why they come in the gathering. You are God who provide, provide answer and solution to every trouble. Faces are different with different desires. We cry out to you, O God, as raven cry for lack of food. We have no other source, just like what David said. I look to heaven and to the hills where my help come from. Our Lord and God, our help come from you. We have no other God but you. We have no other God. Jesus but you, we Jesus you have done, we have no other God but you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Sin has separated us from you. Sin has made us, has made us lose our position. Sin has made us to lose our dominion. Restore our dominion in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and ask him to restore your dominion. Restore our dominion in Christ Jesus, Lord. Restore our dominion. Our dominion, you say to Adam, have dominion over everything, creeping things, have dominion but this dominion we have lost us it as a result of our sinful life restore our dominion in the name of jesus restore our dominion in christ jesus restore our dominion lord jesus son of david restore our dominion in the name of jesus In the name of Jesus, I command dominion to be restored. Your dominion over Satan be restored. Your dominion over everything that the Lord have created be restored in the name of Jesus. As he say, abide in me and my word abide in you. That says the Lord. He say, then ask I stand in Christ Jesus, in my dominion. I command your dominion to be restored. You, Satan, wherever you are, in the life of my people, that says the Lord, lose your grip in the name of Jesus. Lose your grip in their marriages. Lose your grip in their business. Lose your grip. You, the cause of nightmare, wherever you are, I break your dominion in the name of Jesus. You, unclean spirit, wherever you are, the cause of doubt, out in the name of Jesus. You, unclean spirit, the cause of immorality, envy, jealousy, out in the name of Jesus. That which is not of God, open your mouth and command it out. Command it out. Command it out. Command it out. Whatever the Lord have not planted, command it out. Some things you may have eaten in the dream, 
some things may have entered you as a result of a curse. Someone has just decided to curse you. In the name of Jesus, two believers are better than one. Whatever and whatever that may have entered you, that is not of God. Command it out in the name of Jesus. You are a clean spirit that make man to lose focus out in the name of Jesus. You spirit of witchcraft, wherever you are, out in the name of Jesus. You unclean spirit, wherever you are, operating their system, out you demon. You cause of weakness in prayer, out in the name of Jesus. You the cause of doubt, out in the name of Jesus. You the cause of loss of focus, out in the name of Jesus. Whatever poison you may have eaten in the dream, either physical or spiritual, that poison, out in the name of Jesus. That nightmare, out in the name of Jesus. That bad luck, out in the name of Jesus. Disappointment, out in the name of Jesus. Failure, failure in progress, out in the name of Jesus. Whatever contact, Satan may it have used to connect himself to you. That counter be broken in the name of Jesus. You are experiencing spiritual wife or spiritual husband, ancestral spirit. You are a clean spirit wherever you are. Fire on your crown in the name of Jesus. Fire on your feet. Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire wherever you are. On your rings, those rings, spiritual rings, Fire of the Holy Ghost consume you. Whatever contact, whatever contact, I release fire of the Holy Ghost to consume you. Fire on your crown. Fire on your head. Fire of the Holy Ghost on your skin. Fire of the Holy Ghost wherever you are. Fire of the Holy Ghost. That contact, be it a tree. Holy Ghost fire consume it in the name of Jesus. Be released in Jesus' name. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released from every ancestral spirit. Be released from every spirit, family spirit. Be released from every family tree in the name of Jesus. For who son set free, I declare you free. You are free from oppression. Every disappointment, I command it to be appointment. Every failure, I command it to be progress in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare you free in Jesus' name. That which you have lost through unbelief, I command it to be restored by the power of resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your good health be restored in the name of Jesus. By the power of resurrection, I command your marriage, affection, to be restored in the name of Jesus. By the power of resurrection, your good health, that perfect health, be restored in the name of Jesus. By the power of resurrection of our Lord Jesus, every organ that is not functioning, begin to function, begin to function. Be it your liver, be it your kidney, be it your lungs, I command it to begin to function. I command every organ, begin to function. Rise again. I say your business. Rise again. Your partner, business partner, rise again. Rise again. Rise again. Rise again. Rise again. Rise again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can't wait. We can't wait to hear your testimony. Just thank him, thank him. Believe you have been restored. Walk like a woman who has been restored. Your confession has to change. Praise God. You believe you are healed. You speak good things on your family, on your children. Speak good things. 
We are praying for you, waiting God to surprise you. The reason God, we wait on God knowing, he must answer you so that we can be encouraged. Why we serve God without giving up? Because of the testimony that we hear, he answer prayers of people. Praise God. So yours cannot escape the anointing of God. Praise God. Join us as we share together salvation. Yeah. Salvation well, we, is word abiding us, us, and, and we, we abide in it in the name of Jesus. Remember, good enough. The best is yet to come in Jesus. The best is yet to come in Jesus' name. Amen. May the grace Amen. of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, and the, the love, love of God. God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with, be with us all now and forever. Now and forever. Amen. 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 Surely, Surely, goodness, goodness and mercy shall be with us all, us all the day of our lives. And we shall and we dwell, and we shall dwell in now and forever and forever. And forever. And forever. Amen. 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 God bless you, Baba Ibrahim. God bless you all, Sister Agnes, oh, Mary Alba, Sister Ashley, Sister Irene, Sister Jane, Sister Susan, Sister Flora, Mommy Wilma, iPhone 2. God richly bless you all. Amen. God Amen. bless you all. God bless you all.